See, there's two kinds of doctors. There's the kind that gets rid of their feelings and the kind that keeps them. If you're going to keep your feelings, you're going to get sick from time to time. That's just how it works. Keep your head down. People come in here and they're sick and dying and bleeding and they need our help. And helping them is more important than how we feel. But it's still a pain in the ass sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I just want to quit and do something else. <laughs> oh no, would you look at this? That's the first tailored white coat I've ever seen. Where's the needle? Think he knows anything? How's that a dress? Well, it's my student. The unit's looking to you, Mark. You set the tone. What do you see? The sky. What's up there? Orion's belt. Orion's? He couldn't beat the scorpion, so he jumped into the sea. Really? Artemis put him in the sky where the scorpion never gets him. I didn't know that. There. That didn't hurt, did it? Is it over? It's all done. Thank you, Katie. What did I do? You just became my very last patient. Shift over? Yeah. Thank you. Polite. Can you give that hangnail lady a cast shoe, sign her out, and tell her to never come back? If you say so. You set the tone, Carter. What? Work on your jump shot. You know what I am going to miss? What? Whipping your ass on the court. Dr. Green. What is it? Patient for you, Dr. Green. Can't the intern take it? No, it's for you. Good evening. How's it going tonight, Mrs. Raskin? Jimmy, I have a problem that requires medical attention. See Dr. Green. He's on duty tonight. How much longer do I have to sit here? Miss Raskin, it's been a long time. Well, the service isn't what it used to be. What's the trouble? I have this hangnail, and it is very painful. I have a brain tumor, and it's inoperable. What? I win. Excuse me. This happened when you woke up? Yes, when I got out of bed. And are you seeing double now? No. How many fingers? Three. Have you had any trouble with your eyes before? No, never. Did you have any pain while you were seeing double? Headache, trouble mm. with your balance, funny taste in your mm. mouth, flashing spots before your eyes, weakness in your arms and legs? No, none of those things. You know I don't like this place. I don't belong here. Whatever's going to happen, I want it to happen outside. Okay. It'll be over soon. Like lemon.
raindrops high above the chimney top. That's where you find me, oh, somewhere over the rainbow. Mark's gone. That means you've been here longer than any other doctor. People will look to you to step in and fill the void. Big void. Yes, it is. I can't do this. Will you do this? Thank you. Set the tone, Carter. As much as part of me would like to believe that the ER can't go on without me, the smarter part realizes that you're an incredible group of doctors and nurses who approach every day with such skill, compassion, and thoroughness that when it comes to patient care, I know my absence will hardly be felt. As for friendship and camaraderie, well, that's another matter. In order to leave, I had to go the way I did, but I wouldn't want any of you to think that that meant I didn't value each of you in the years that we worked together or that I didn't have things of a more personal nature to say. You're gonna make a good doctor. Carter, you gotta hurry it up. You got a million things to do. You set the tone, Carter. Uh, uh, well, Morris? I think I might puke again. You set the tone, Morris. Huh? <laughs> Never mind. If I leave here tomorrow. 
See, there's two kinds of doctors. There's the kind that get rid of their feelings. And the kind that keeps them. If you're gonna hold on to your feelings, you're gonna get sick every once in a while. It's part of it. People come in here and they're sick and dying. Sometimes they're dying. And they need our help. And helping them is more important than how we feel. But hell, I've been doing this eight years. I still get sick. See, when you were an intern under Dr. Green, he would have everybody write a letter to themselves that they wouldn't open until their very last day of residency. So, that's your letter to yourself? What does it say? It says... that I'm scared. And that I know I have a lot to learn. And I hope I learn it quickly. And then I pray to God that I don't kill anybody. And it says um, that if I'm good at this, and I can stick it out and become an attending, one day you'll look up and that'll be all I ever need. Maybe uh, 10 years will have passed. It'll be the sum total what you've done that counts, not the passion. Hey, Peter. I'm a good doctor because of you. No, you're not. But keep trying. Mark Green. I'm his daughter, Rachel. 